Hello everyone, welcome to Angiclass's YouTube channel for a video lecture series on basic electronics. In this video, we will consider the concept of IRMS and VRMS of half a rectifier. In the previous two video lectures, we considered uh, the operation of half a rectifier and VDC and IDC, the parameters, two different parameters of half a rectifier. In this video, we will consider uh, the next parameter that is IRMS and VRMS. So, what do you mean by RMS? So, one must be aware of RMS is nothing but root mean square rms stands for root mean square value of the output current or output voltage so why is this important vrms irms uh, in the previous video lecture we considered the idc are we not happy with idc idc is also the output parameter the dc or output uh, uh, the uh, output current but RMS, IRMS, these are, let me write the both, IDC is also output parameter and IRMS is also output parameter, but the same output current being expressed in different, uh, different uh, ways. So, output current, so let me write, both are output current expressed, expressed in different form expressed in a different form so these are helpful for me uh, later to find ripple factor and efficiency if i had found only idc it is not able to find uh, the efficiency if i have found only uh, irms i am not able to find uh, the other parameter ripple factor so output current instead of saying i not it can take the different forms i can write i can express i not in a different ways so that i can find the important parameters later is that okay so it is root mean square uh, now i'll consider finding irms what is irms equal to i want to find this i said the input is expressed vm uh, vi is equal to vm sin omega t similarly the input current i i is expressed as im sin omega t the, the input waveform is uh, take the sinusoidal form and its highest amplitude is im so hence it is im sin omega t so how do i find the root mean square so root mean square in the sense there must be finding the root of something and there must be finding the mean mean is nothing but the average it is over one period that is 1 by 2 pi uh, square square of what uh, the input signal what is the input signal i am sine omega t so i need to integrate this with respect to 0 to 2 pi and the square i need to consider the squaring of this part as well so this is what a root mean square is are you getting this so hence i would call this as a root mean square of the current irms so root there is a square root mean the i am taking the average uh, square square of the input signal so i am integrating this over one period hence i'll divide it by 2 and later i'm taking the square root as well so this is nothing but irms so i have to simplify this further whatever the value i get that as i assign it to irms so how do i simplify this further let me consider simplifying uh, this this is uh, 1 over uh, 2 pi integration is uh, 0 to pi so now i'll change the integration from 0 to 2 pi to 0 to pi only why because if i consider the output waveform here it is the output waveform of half wave uh, rectifier limit is from 0 to 2 pi but if you observe uh, the output i'm going to get only for one half cycle that is 0 to pi so that i consider uh, Plus, I need to split it up pi to 2 pi. Pi to 2 pi, I'm going to get 0. Hence, I'm not writing it. And I'm changing the limit as 0 to pi. Are you okay with this? I change the limit 0 to pi. And what is there inside? Inside, I have I m square sine square omega t d omega t. Is that okay? So, this is what I'm going to get after uh, uh, once I take the square inside. The next step is uh, try to simplify this uh, further let's see what i'm going to get so now i m square is a constant i can take it out of the integration and i can take it out of the square root as well i'm going to get only i m are you getting this so ultimately i'm going to get only i m here so let me write over here i m then i have 
square root of 1 over uh, 2 pi here and uh, integration of uh, sine square sine square I cannot find the integration of that I need to express in terms of cosine I already know it sine square uh, theta can be expressed as 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 so in place of theta I have omega t hence it is a 1 minus cos 2 omega t uh, divided by 2 so this is how the sine square can be expressed getting it integrate this with respect to omega t is that okay so sine square whatever uh, omega t was there i have expressed that as 1 minus uh, uh, cos 2 omega t divided by 2 so once it is done i can uh, find the integration very easily now so it is i m square root of 1 over 2 pi now i can find the integration integration of 1 with respect to omega t is nothing but omega t divided by 2 is there minus integration of cos is nothing but sine but it is integration of uh, cos 2 omega t that is sine 2 omega t divided by 2 that 2 and this 2 it becomes 4 so now for this i need to put the limits from 0 to pi correct still this term is there inside uh, the square root Yes, so now I can find the answer. I can put the limits and I can find the final answer for IRMS square root of 1 over 2 pi. So now let me put uh, pi. If I put uh, pi, what I'm going to get it is pi by 2. In place of omega t, I need to put uh, pi. Let me write it clearly. This is uh, pi by 2 minus uh, here sine 2 pi by 4. Sine 2 pi by 4 this is what i'm going to get uh, by placing the first limit that is pi minus the second limit in place of omega t i need to put 0 by 2 it is 0 minus sin 0 is also going to be 0 so that's what i'm going to get after uh, putting the second limit so let me include the square root sign as well still it is there yes once it is done uh, next step what i can do is let me write i am square root of 1 over 2 pi let's see what i'm going to get here uh, sine 2 pi we know it is a 0 this part is also going to be 0 so i'm going to get only pi by 2 uh, 1 by 2 pi pi by 2 so this is what i'm going to get uh, still this term is there in the inside the square root pi and pi are going to cancel uh, 1 by 2 into 2 it is going to be 1 by 4 and it, if it comes out of the square root i'm going to get it as i am divided by 2 so this is the expression for uh, root mean square of the current irms irms is equal to i m divided by uh, 2 similarly i can say that similarly similarly i will not prove for vrms i will straight away write vrms is going to be equal to vm divided by 2 if you are very much interested uh, this can be considered and this can also be proved vrms equal to can be made equal to vm divided by 2 so this is how i find the expression for irms and vrms these expressions are uh, very helpful in finding ripple factor and efficiency of half a rectifier one has one has to remember these uh, expressions yes in this video we have considered the expression for uh, root mean square of uh, uh, current and the voltage hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section i will definitely address those uh, doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on basic electronics till then thank you everyone for watching